Hi, I'm Nathan Winograd of the No Kill Advocacy Center. The puppies of Los Angeles need your voice. The Los Angeles Board of Animal Services Commission was urged this week to approve a new policy eliminating the automatic spaying of full-term pregnant dogs, which is risky for the mother and results in the killing of the puppies. According to the general manager of Los Angeles Animal Services, the spaying of late-term pregnant dogs results in puppies being born by the equivalent of a C-section. They are able to survive on their own, but these puppies are immediately put to death in our shelters. Proposed new policy would let dogs in late-term pregnancy give birth at city shelters or allow volunteers to care for them and their puppies so long as veterinary staff says the pregnant dog is healthy enough to give birth. Not only does killing healthy, full-term, in-utero puppies violate the no-kill philosophy, it is a way to cheat on statistics. Because they are not yet born, even when they are removed from the mother and killed one by one through an overdose of barbiturates, their deaths are not recorded. They simply do not count. Even when they are not individually killed, when a mother is spayed, the puppies die from anoxia, oxygen deprivation, due to a lack of blood supply from the uterus once the vessels are clamped. They suffocate. Five years ago, the commissioners rejected a similar change in policy. This time, they punted, asking for more information and putting off a vote on whether to stop killing puppies for 30 to 60 days. Now is the time to make your voice heard. Please join the No Kill Advocacy Center in asking the board to follow the lead of other communities which have eliminated the deliberate killing of puppies. Email them at annie.commission at lacity.org. Learn more on the Call to Arms page at nokilladvocacycenter.org.